Hello everyone! Oh, well, welcome to Drakan, Order of the Flame, in any case. Interesting minimalist menu. Um, I, I've been waiting to try this out for the very first time as well. Well, almost the very first time. I've only played the first level. It, well, part of the first level. Anyhow, um, this was recommended to me quite a while ago, and I'm glad I finally got it. I'm uh, using the 10th anniversary mod, which allows the game to run with DirectX 9 instead of DirectX 7, I believe. Anyhow, this is a good old action adventure, as far as I can tell. And, well, it is. <laughs> it is very interesting so far. It, it's not an RPG. It, it's, it's almost as if it tries not to be an RPG, despite, well, despite all that's going on in it. Also, check out this menu. I really like this. Crystals that resonate. You can play a song on that. That's great. So, let's start a new game. Uh, will there's easy, normal, hard, or too hard. Sorry, the font's a bit small. That's uh, well, that's uh, one of the flaws of running it on a higher resolution, I suppose. Play on normal because I I haven't played much of this, but it did seem just right. For a little brother, you're not half bad, Dylan. The way you found Adamar's dagger was clever indeed. I hope his reward is better than that last book of Proverbs he gave me. There were a couple of funny ones, though. Like, your tongue weighs practically nothing, so how come you can't hold it? <laughs> and, uh-oh. Quick, get behind me. My god, Adamar, what happened? Despicable Vortox. They came to my house. Ah, using me as an example. Don't move. Try to be still. I saw Dalin and told him to run, but I think they caught him. Not sure. If they even so much as touch him, we'll hunt them down and kill every one of those filthy beasts. <sighs> There's darkness afoot, Rin. This is only part of it. I mean, only the Order of the Flame can confront it. The Order? That's a myth, isn't it? The book. You need the book. Locked in my house across the river. An orc stole the key. I last saw him entering the tavern. Find the key. Get the book. 
Enter the temple. Get the soul crystal. <laughs> Find Erok. Erok. Dallin? Dallin! Carrie, is that you? I'm pretty sure you're Carrie, aren't you? Well, first thing we do is we should equip Atomar's, uh... Earlier, she referred to it as Atomar's Dagger. Also, we have an inventory, a very minimalist inventory. But it's uh, a sword, it's more like a sword. Well, it just says Atomar's Blade there. Damage 5, indestructible. It's fast, but short. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to unequip that. Still have to get used to the controls. <laughs> we can crouch, we can, we can attack, naturally. Sorry about that. Also, you... Oh, gee! <laughs> Aren't you gonna come over here? So, so I can, well, hit you, hopefully. Now, his weapon is longer than mine, which is already going to put us at a disadvantage. Wait, don't trample on an old man. Okay, now... He's trying to dodge. I can get behind him easily enough. Ho ho. We can't seem to pick up his weapon. Hmm. I like that uh, Atomar's blade has a nice uh, glowing pommel jewel. Um, hmm. Well, it seems we have uh, a whole destroyed village to explore. We may as well start here. We can also sneak. That's very good. I'm sure we can get behind someone and do something with that. Like, poke them with something probably sharp. Oh. Uh. There. There we go. Hmm. Can't do that. Yeah, we can, uh. We can do little flips if we, uh, jump to the side or to the back. But otherwise, we just jump normally. Well, we may as well start here. I think we have a journal. Oh wait, we have a map. Ah, there it is. Our objectives are on the map. Excellent. So, we already have four objectives. Awaken Arok, get Atomar's key under tavern, find Heron's soul crystal, and get sacred book in Atomar's house. Not in that order. Well, the tavern's right here, so we may as well start right here, but uh, do want to take a look around before we do anything else. Hmm. Burning, burning, it doesn't seem like there's anything really useful around here. It is nice that uh, flipping like that does give us greater mobility than just jumping normally. Ridden feels rather Lara Croft-esque so far, but I don't know much about her. Ah, little house. Is, isn't that the house that you barged into earlier? Or... Nah, it must have been a different one. You need to pay attention, okay? Uh, can we destroy these? Oh yes, we can. Perfect. Yeah. Now, anyone in here? Anyone that I can save? Uh, no. Ah, look, health potion. We can press our use item key to uh, grab things, which is nice. Uh, nothing behind there. These levels really seem massive. I guess we should not fall in the water. Uh, they already burned this place down. Despite it being mostly stone. Well, half stone. Okay then, let's go and see what's under the tavern. There's a green window. Only one window. <laughs> well, fine. 
I'm sure we can find some health potions in here. Uh, we should really have some more respect for the people who used to live here. Oh! What's this? <laughs> Did just really need to bend in such a weird way to grab that? It's a club. It does seven damage. Uh, let's see. A bit slower, but it has medium range, so let's use it. Our weapons can wear out, so we will need to replace them. They will break. Aha! We're going to need lots of health potions. Can't take anything else, though. Let's see. Uh, nope, there's nothing in here. Oh, can I bounce on the bed? It's about as hard as wood. No, I can't. I can't uh, jump on top of. No. Okay. Um. Ha. I never knew this cellar existed. <laughs> really? Well, what did you think that door went to? Hold on a second. Are you, are you holding a keg of ale or something? <laughs> what? what was that? Come on! Come on! can't turn on the tap and waste everything. Oh, health potion! Perfect! Just come on. <laughs> there you go again, Bryn. <laughs> you must be really flexible. Oh, uh, you try and get your friend out. Now, if I can just... Yeah. Well, why did it have to be spiders in every single fantasy game? Well, before going in there, I, I'm not sure how we do that special thrusting like motion. Can jump on this. Yes, we can jump on that. It feels like it does it when I press forward and attack at the same time, but it seems to do it randomly. So I think it's just random. And we got another club. We also do have limited inventory space, so we might have to prioritize our weapons sometimes. But for now, we've got two better weapons than our indestructible blade, which is nice. Yeah, uh, doo -doo. yeah that one has 13 durability, this one has 100 durability. Wait, that's a club, that's a mace. Oh, the mace does 10 damage. That's massive. Oh. Yeah, good. Put, put the sword back in the inventory. Do not drop the indestructible sword. Because you cannot... Is that a kilt? You cannot destroy these kilted monsters with your bare hands. Okay. I want to equip the, uh, the club. Because we, we can save the mace for later. That's that's the mace. It's the club. Good. Okay, now. Ugh. Let's destroy these horrid creatures. Oh, we can also dodge roll, but that's kind of slow. We could do it as fast as we could in Dark Souls, then. Oh, I'm sorry, I just gibbed you. I can't really... Oh, did I... It didn't feel like I hit them. I just, I just knocked one of its legs off. Give up. Come on. Excellent. Ah, now you see a flashing symbol down in the right corner. It says I have two durability left. Ah, so it does lose durability as I, as I whack barrels. I'll have to make sure that I remember that. Oh, and we have a very, very blocky key. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wait, I think that has free look. Oh, yeah, free look. Brilliant. 
Kind of nice, though. Can't destroy that. Yeah, great. Hmm. Well, there's no lever on this side. I suppose we could hack at this for a few days and eventually break through the bars with an indestructible sword. Oh, oh, we can just roll over them. Well, we can just run over them. Uh, I've got that. <laughs> oh, also... Ah, no, I'll do that in the next video. Okay then, everyone! Thanks for watching the first episode of Drakan. If you're a bit lost on the story, don't worry, that's explained a little bit later. Oh dear. Well, see you in the next part, everyone. Thank you for watching!